some have criticized how progressive the messages in the movie are. I have also heard criticism of how the movie handles the progressive messages, some of which I will address later in this video. And I'm definitely not telling anyone what to believe politically or whether or not to enjoy the movie or agree with its politics, but I did hear at least one person say that the movie being left-wing might turn off right-wingers from enjoying the movie. I'm not telling you that you can't believe that, but I do think that if you're going to make that case, you have to at least acknowledge the fact that Star Wars, the movie series, I can't speak to the, the books or other extended universe, I played several of the games, as you can tell, you know, I'm, I'm speaking primarily of the, of the movies here, has always been explicitly left-wing. Yes, ultimately, most of the diversity in the original trilogy boils down to aliens rather than actually casting very many women or people of color, but it is still there. The good guys are a diverse group coming from different cultures working together to stop white supremacists. It's pretty difficult not to read the Ewok versus Empire fight, childish as the Ewoks are, as criticism of the Vietnam War. In general, there is, there is a strong anti-war message in these movies. War is started by the bad guys. It hurts innocent people. The good guys only join in the war when democracy fails. The pro-war position is conservative. Parts of these movies can be read as criticism of Ronald Reagan. He said, welfare queen demonizing minorities. And Lucas responded with these movies with a very clear statement, minorities save the galaxy. Ben Kenobi and Yoda, the characters in the original trilogy that George clearly thinks of as the closest to the idea of what a good person should be, are monks who th think everything through, who sacrifice themselves, and only ever use violence as an absolute last resort. I would argue that a fair assessment of an average conservative is close to the opposite. A warrior who acts on instinct and gut, who survives while leaving the enemy dead and uses violence the moment that they feel they or their freedoms are threatened. Strike me down and I will become more powerful than you can possibly imagine, rather than wanting to take out the other person. Wars not make one great, rather than a, an obsession with proving that you are great by taking part in wars. I'm not saying that these movies have to be left-wing, but let's at least be honest, them being left-wing is simply the, you know, the sequel trilogy being left wing is just taking the the you know yeah following on the original trilogy now yeah the the let's see i i'm going to quote a fellow critic here George Lucas partially made Star Wars to criticize Nixon, to express that maybe we shouldn't blindly believe our authority figures, since Luke's father, his authority figure, is not good, except at the very end. 